Black Ops 3 recently introduced the AK-74U as well as the M1911 into multiplayer. And while it is cool to be able to have something maybe brand new to play around with within Black Ops 3, it's something that a lot of people within the zombies community in particular weren't necessarily too fond of because these classics were once again withheld from zombies in Black Ops 3. Now, I wanna talk a little bit and discuss a little bit about some ideas that I've had here for this and something that's been brought up quite a bit here within the last couple of days since these weapons dropped in multiplayer on the topic of if they will return to zombies at all, if ever. And personally, I think that with time, we definitely will see these weapons within zombies and more specifically the classic zombies, maps of zombies chronicles. Whether or not they're actually the starting weapons, I don't know just how that would work out because the M1911 in particular, once again, was the starting weapon for quite some time within zombies and of course then became the infamous Mustang and Sally when pack-a-punched and that's something that would be awesome to see return, but I don't know exactly how that would work out in terms of how much reworking they'd have to do for the code and everything, though Origins is a decent indicator that it is possible that we get the Mauser as the starting pistol for Origins and no other map in particular. So in that sense, it definitely could be worked out. I definitely think though it would require an entire patch, not just a hotfix for zombies. So that might be something that takes a little bit of time because title updates don't go out as frequently as a lot of people may expect. So therefore it will definitely create some time lag in between when it's possible and when we can see it happen. And then we can actually see it come to be in the public live versions of zombies. But as for the idea of adding in weapons after the fact that they've already been dropped or it's something that maybe is overlooked at the launch of Zombies Chronicles, it is something that's very possible. If you guys remember back within Zetsubo no Shima, there were updates to it as well that added the H G40, the Banshee, and a few other weapons, I believe, at the time that were in multiplayer exclusively, but then they ended up coming over into Zetsubonoshima and therefore the subsidiary maps afterwards that were to follow. So that's something that is proof that it's very possible. It's something that is just simply adding these weapons into it. And though they weren't added as wall weapons, whereas 74U potentially could fit in some respects for one of those, the addition of them no less is something that has already happened. So with that said and bearing that in mind, I think this then could potentially lead to maybe some testing in terms of getting the balance right for everything in multiplayer and then later on down the line seeing them added into zombies at a later point in time and that's something that really could make sense because there's still going to be support for Black Ops 3 all the way up until at least Call of Duty World War 2's launch. That's something that Treyarch had said back in December with their holiday live stream, and they've continued to hold up their end of the deal here with this, especially as of recently with the updates for Zombies Chronicles and the DLC weapon drops here as well. So with the next couple of months still warranting support for the game, it definitely is something that could happen. And with it already having happened in a previous time and at a previous date, I see no real issue as to why this could happen again. And sure, it does suck that they're not in there right now, but I think with a little bit of patience, we might have a little happy surprise later on down the line. But all that said and out of the way, that's just gonna wrap up this little discussion. A little bit different of a video, I just wanted to discuss something here and get my thoughts on the topic out to you guys, and therefore, get your feedback here for a little bit of a discussion. Once again, the whole purpose of this video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think the M1911 and the AK-74U will make its way over into at least Zombies Chronicles, if not all the Zombies maps? Or do you think it will never happen? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Right now, there is no right or wrong answer, so you could think, yes, they will. You could think they could never happen. Whatever it may be, though, feel free to drop it down there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles, Zombies, Black Ops 3 Multiplayer, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty World War II, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to share up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll see you later. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. My name is Medical Espresso. Take care and peace.